Hey, Peter Buswell here for DrVOIP.com. This introduced Shortel System Administration version 12. We haven't done a complete uh, soup to nuts system administration update since uh, version 8. Version 8 represented a significant change from previous versions of Shortel, uh, let's say 3 through 7. And uh, with the introduction of Shortel 10 and 11 and 12, there have been some significant changes. So it's time to really spin our system admin series up to speed. What's new in version 12? Well, like I said, 10, 11, 12, uh, there's some new capabilities in the Shortel system that we should become aware of. Distributed work groups. The ability to have work groups continue to operate should the headquarters service for work groups be unavailable. You have the ability to do the distributed database. You can only have one read-write copy of any database, typically the master, but let's say the master is unavailable. How are we going to handle that? Over well, the distributed database capability that was released in version 11, there are some strategies we can use. Uh, to assure that uh, call handling modes and schedule changes and other database driven events uh, can still be accomplished in the absence of the headquarters server. The communicator, Shortel's uh, web based interface to call control, uh, that's something that's uh, been developed in version 11, clearly a part of 12. We can now virtualize Shortel servers. This was made available in version 11. And uh, the IP655 phone was just coming out in version 11. Uh, I'm sure that this, uh, this phone has a, a large future. It has the touch screen and visual voicemail and uh, extended microphones. It's an exciting product. Uh, being an iPhone, uh, Fanatic, having mobile call manager available as an iPhone app in version 11 is pretty exciting. I'll show you how to set that up. With version 11, we also had the introduction of 64-bit operating systems on our servers uh, and desktops. And most people were asking about Windows 7 support. At the end of the day, I think what they were really saying is we need... Um, Office 2010 support, and that's in version 12. Version 12 has some new switch types, uh, application as yet undefined. Shortel has a new conference bridge. It installs like a, a switch, and so that's a change in system administration. We'll be taking a, a deep look at that. The course content, uh, we're going to go through the architecture, system setup, give you a detailed overview of the shortware director, drill down on about 18 areas of um, short tell administration. We'll do some basic troubleshooting, and we will continue to add to our advanced troubleshooting library. So system administration is going to get deep when we drill down on the actual components of setting up a new system as well as administering an existing system. We'll try to stay focused on those areas that system administrators would focus on. So uh, though you're going to pick up a lot about the system in terms of how it goes together. This is not an installation uh, class. This is a, a focus on how to administer the system. Most administrators are going to stay focused in areas like auto attendance and scheduling and configuring users. So we'll cover all of these areas, uh, but with particular emphasis on issues that system administrators uh, confront on a day-by-day -day basis. Audience assumptions. Who are you? Why would you be watching this? Well, I think you're a short health system administrator, but uh, there are some requirements uh, that you need to have an understanding about telephony, networking, Microsoft products in general, 
if you're going to get the full benefit of the course. Um, short haul system administration can be very easy. Uh, it doesn't take much to add a user. But understanding how the various moving parts go together and how they interface the other pieces of your enterprise, from the desktop operating systems through your networks, VLANs, prior walls, routers, um, what, what are the different types of telephone lines that the shore gear switches will interconnect with? So we'll be talking about things like uh, FXO lines and PRI lines and SIP trunks. And so you should have some understanding about this if you're going to really uh, benefit from this information. You can find the entire uh, system administration library at worldwideweb.drvoip.com. We also publish a blog, drvoip.com, uh, where we put little video clips and tech tips and things that we think might be useful uh, as people are Googling around looking for solutions. Try to add a little video clip to each of our blogs. Uh, we can be called. 877 dr or send us an email at info at .com, and we'll do everything we can to help make your voiceover IP deployment a success.